Day 21 is push. And when it comes to this, I want to talk about the effect the effect of streaming that role playing is ha that is had in role playing. I've seen a lot of games um get pushed solely due to the endorsement of certain streaming celebrities um playing them. Like I know there was talk about the Whedon effect in past years. The uh, Mercer effect is still in play, especially since I see so many times somebody trying to play their games as if they were playing Critical Role and coming to the realization that the GM at their table is not Matt Mercer. To the point where I've, when I've done public games, I've done the whole thing of, look, don't bring, don't bring up that whole thing because I'm not him, I don't run my games like him, stop it. What I do want to focus in this is a growing paradox where you've got a lot of people who game who are mostly following popular trends. I'm reminded of a video that was done years ago that I've talked about in the past about the commodification of nerd culture. And in some ways we are, we are seeing that with that streamer bubble, but the reason why I've insisted on calling it a bubble is because I don't think this is going to last long term. Eventually, Critical Role is going to take some sort of break and they're, and they're not going to be producing as much. It's just the nature of the business. And when that happens, a lot I have no confidence that a lot of the people who established a fan base around their particular style of play are going to stick around for other types of D&D streams or even D&D period. What's further hurting this is this insistence on promoting D&D as this lifestyle brand instead of promoting a game. I see a lot more side merch when it comes to core D&D these days than I do with the actual books. Now some might say that's a good thing because they're not festooning the market with too many supplements as has happened in the past. I don't think that's the case because, like it or not, at the end of the day, D&D is still a game. It's not a it's not a brand, and I think trying to foist it as one is something that can't last because everyone's going to see that the emperor has no clothes. It may not happen tomorrow. It may not happen next week. But eventually, that bubble is going to burst. It's was it's what happened in two thousand five, and it can happen again. 